Hello, my name is Cesar, and this is the video number seven on the naming series, uh, where we, we are live coding a naming convention library manager thingy in Python to help you manage your naming conventions uh, programmatically. So in the last video, uh, we did a little bit of cleanup, and we also implemented this uh, concept of active rule. So now we can solve names with different rules. Um, and we did that on all our tests. Uh, so we did that for the solve and for the parse. And if I run this, you can see all the tests are passing. So that's great. So I will say that for now we have the basic functionality. So this is what the library was trying to solve. So I was looking at this and there's a very uh, very clear pattern here uh, that we need to address so if you look at all the methods we have like two building blocks we have rules right add rules flash rules remove rules has rule and all this stuff and we have tokens the problem is we haven't defined that so for example if i talk about tokens there is absolutely nothing I can point at saying that is a token. So a token can be none, which is require tokens. A token can be a dictionary of uh, key values. But there's one special case, which is the underscore default. So you have to be aware of that. And then in order to solve or parse a token, uh, or, uh, you bas basically deal with the internals here in these uh, global functions. So the problem is if we want to ever implement um, a different token, for example, an enumerator. So you can pass, let's say, different padding, like number of leading zeros and whatnot. Uh, it will involve uh, modify this function quite a lot and the same with parse. So this library is not super easy to extend and we are going to start uh, encapsulating what's a token and what's a rule in this video. So we'll, we'll get started with the tokens and then we'll move to the rules in this video or the next one. So let's get started. Okay, so well first thing would be, this is just a stupid thing, but it kind of bothers me. Okay, so let's start by creating a class defining a token, right? So class uh, token. Uh, this is object. And here we have the init with self, right? And then we have supper token self dot underscore underscore init cool so that's our like basic uh new style i'm python 2.7 so but yeah new style class of uh classes yeah whatever so what's needed here uh, so the goal here is to still pass all the tests but change the internals right so I'm going to take a look at this function. Uh, let me split this. Okay. So this function uh, add tokens. And I just split uh, the file so I don't have to uh, jump so much. Okay. So what's in there? So, okay, let's change this. Uh, the first thing would be, we'll say token equal to token, right? And looks like we can pass a name in. Looks like a, I don't know, reasonable thing to do. And then we ask if the number of keyword argument is zero, just put that as a no, we don't need that anymore. And here's the entire default thing. We can replace that by uh, Iterate on keyword arguments. So if they are empty, this loop would be nothing. 
and for the default we can say if the key is equal to default we want to what we want to do we want to set that as a default right so token dot set the default and we want to pass the value okay otherwise uh, we want to add item and we pass the name and the value to the token right and at the end we say this is a token and now that we can point at something being a token, we can return it. Uh, what did I do? Um, oh. Okay. So that looks good. Uh, so let's implement that. So we say we're passing a name here, so name. And I'm going to store that as underscore name. The other thing we're doing is uh, we set default so self dot underscore default will be equals to none and then we have an add item so self dot underscore items will be equal to a dictionary in this particular case right so we say we have a set set default and we pass a value and self of course and here it would be like self dot underscore default equal to value you see and then we have the uh, set item i think it was add item name and value right and we say self dot underscore items uh, name equal to value okay i think that that's it so now if i run the test everything is failing right because well not everything seven tests are failing and looks like most of it is in the token case uh, so, so let's, uh, oh, uh, this should be equals to name. Yeah. So four, four cases are failing and this solve and parse makes sense. So let address solve. So where is, uh, where is solve? Let me center that there. And we are going to do the same here. So this is going through active rule fields. So it get a token from tokens. So this is a token now. It's a thing. And then it's a if look if token is known, which means it's a requires. So let's do it nicely. So token dot is uh required if it's required we do all that otherwise uh, token dot and this was getting an item from uh, from the dictionary so we are going to call this solve and we pass in but I don't want to have the default this way so Let's do it just like that. Cool. So let's make that work. Okay. So def uh, is required. Okay. So for something to be required, uh, we can say uh, self that default there's no default right that can... so how do we get the default uh, default 
Uh, so this return self dot underscore default, right? But maybe okay, so that makes sense. But maybe if uh, self dot underscore default is none, but uh, there's any item, so self dot underscore items, uh, we can set uh, the first item as a default. So let's do that. Uh, items dot values, and we get we grab the first one. So at least we have something, right? Okay, let's move on. So, okay, the next thing would be the solve method, which is a solve, and this is self name value. And here we're basically, uh, no, solve is just name. What if it's a require? But it has a okay. So let's let let's do it like that. Okay. So if we don't pass any name, so name is known, we are going to return self that default. So it solved something. Otherwise, we are going to return self dot uh, underscore items dot get, and we get something with that name. Cool. Uh, so let's run the test and see what happened now. And uh, we fix it. Nice. So now the only error is the parse case. So let's go and fix that. So let me center this. Cool. Okay. So in parse, we have something very similar. So this is not a lookup anymore. This is a token. Uh, this is uh, if token that is required. We do whatever. Otherwise, it's iterating through the items and doing the default thing. So, okay, so let's say uh, red ball f will be equal to a token dot parse and we pass the value there and we move all this stuff uh, yeah inside the the token itself so let's just do it I know it's times over but I cannot leave it now <laughs> uh, here we pass a name a value sorry so this is like the inverse operation, right? Of the of the solve. Ah. So for key value in self dot items dot iter items, if values okay. Okay, that should do it. Let me run the test and it's so good. So I can close that. So we basically have our token object. Uh, it's a very minimum, but it's working. So in the next video, we're going to do exactly the same with rules and continuing from there. So I hope you like it and see you in the next one. Bye bye.